so if you catch me today I'm on a bit of a short bike ride to uh, loosen the legs so today is Sunday the 9th of January and uh, the day after the uh, Mr Pickwick's uh, January sale 200 km all that I just thought you know what I'm gonna go out for an hour just to loosen the legs a bit a bit of fresh air and uh, yeah I just thought I'd bring you along with me just upon the Selsey Common now. We've just gone up this little track, which I think takes me up onto the top. And uh, I haven't been up here before, actually. And uh, just thought I'd show you the, uh, this is the Nailsworth Valley. So in the bottom of the valley uh, is the, uh, the old railway line there, which as you well know, I go along quite a lot. And uh, with uh, Nailsworth at the head of the valley, and you can see, uh, I think that's Amberley and uh, Bear Hill. I can see a car coming down Bear Hill. There's a pub at the top. If you can see the uh, um, sweeping down lighter green colour, there's a pub just to the top of that. You can just see it. And that's the Bear uh, Rodborough. And that's where my sister had her wedding uh, reception and evening do. Uh, piece of useless uh, trivia there, but. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, there's another, all, all of this at the top here is another uh, common. You've got Minch and Hampton Common up there. And uh, that's probably about the same size as this one, actually. Anyway, I'm going to carry on up this hill and I'll speak to you when I get to the top. So, uh, I'm going to up on the top now. And as you can see with the view, you've got all the Stroud down there. So the actual town of Stroud is down this way. I'm um, panning left, uh, right to left. You've got Stray College. You've got Pagan Hill. Uh, you've got Cashy's Green. Randwick in the top. Ruscombe over there. And you've got Randwick and Sandwich Woods that uh, crest the top of the, the hill there. This little hump one here, directly in front. That's Devro, Devro Hill. And you can see uh, um, May Hill in the distance behind it and then you've got Stonehouse with the dairy there that stands out quite uh, a lot and then uh, panning further around in the foreground you've got uh, Leonard and King Stanley Froster in the distance which is just outside where I spoke to you first of all and um, fortunately it's gone all grey just for a change I mean it's been like that all day I thought, oh, I'll come out and I'll see the, uh, see the uh, sunset. Nope. We've only had it for like a month at least. Oh, well. So, yeah, this is uh, Selsley Common. Common land. And I'm just walking up to the hump. Up here, there's some benches and stuff, so I'm going to just sit on a bench. Actually, going to brew a coffee. That's my plan. I'm just hoping one of the numerous dog walkers don't pinch the bench before I get to it. They do, they do. It's not wrong. Yes, I can just about see the village I live in. So that's good. I said I'm not going too far today. Thing to do before we go back to work tomorrow. So, uh, as you can see, Selsley Common, Jack Dawes Quarry, uh, and basically some of the stuff that you can see up here, really. the uh oh, what was the event oh george's delight that was it um so 
can see there's a white building down there that's Strad College well just the other side of it is is the uh, Painswick Valley and we we climbed up up to the top and that's Scott Square Hill over there I can just make out the uh, the two uh, masts up there and uh, yeah and then you've got Gloucester the other side of that hill is that hill is is being is blocking the view of Gloucester um, I can just about make out the uh, the Malverns actually I'm going to change camera so you can see what I'm talking about so you've got now I've got uh, a screen I can see what I'm doing so that there is uh, Devereux Hill but May Hill beyond it between the two the, the dip is the uh, that's incinerator so uh, basically they filled out the uh, the landfill and uh, everything all the waste from all the area goes down in that and they burn it now um, just in front scroll in that's the uh, Severn horseshoe there you can see so this the, the bit here goes out around and then comes back again and then uh, Carrying on there, you can't quite see, but uh, beyond those trees on the left there, that's uh, you'd be able to see the Severn Bridges uh, further on. And on a clear day, you'll be able to see the um, uh, Brecon Beacons. I can just about make out the Sugarloaf here, the pointy one, at the other side of Abergavenny. And also, uh, you can just make out the Malvern Hills there. And if you look down, down there, you've got Selsley Church, religious at Selsley itself, from which the common uh, gets its name. Um, it's a little bit dark, you'd be able to see the traffic going up down the M5. And uh, down here is uh, the Ebony Bypass, and there's the old Mid Midland Railway line that goes along there. That's come from from our right to uh, from Nailsworth. Anyway, Brew up of me coffee here. Uh, we're scuppered. <laughs> I forgot to bring something to light me stove with, so I had no way of lighting it. So that was that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wander back across the common here, uh, back to the road, then drop down to the older uh, Midland line, and then go home that way. little bit too cold to sort of sat around anyway so it's probably for the best fast and chilly uh, descent off of there I'm now back in the valley down by the uh, on the uh, old, old uh, yeah the old Midland line I think I've showed you this before, you know, it's the old railway. There used to be a station here. The platform's still here, although it's been filled in quite a lot. And, you know, you, if you look down here, there's clues, you know, that this would have been the edge of the platform at some point. And uh, there's lots of people partaking in that national pastime of aimlessly driving around. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's 10 past four now. Uh, yeah, so you've got the slope here of the, the platform. So I was pulling away from the old railway station back there to go on a bike coming the other way. 
So uh, as it's rather narrow, I kind of waited for him to go by. And uh, as he got by me, he goes, hello, Rich. <laughs> I have no idea who he is. If that was you and you're seeing this, hello back. I did say hello, but I have no idea who it was. <laughs> so, uh, I'm now on the uh, uh, Robin and Line. I'm just outside Stone House, which we have college, is just over there and the uh, Stregwater Canal is going underneath this bridge. So this bridge would have been a uh, railway line, obviously, and so a Midland line. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd uh, talk about a few of my plans for this upcoming year. Um, I have bitten the bullet, and because uh, I, I quite get motivated by goals, targets, that kind of thing. So uh, I always kind of try and give myself a goal or something to aim for you know, give it purpose. So I have bitten the bullet and I have entered the uh, the Bristol, Glasgow, Bristol again. Um, I'm going to, I, I learned quite a lot last time and a lot of it was, was uh, in my head. Uh, so I've given myself uh, about four and a half months to get a bit fitter. Um, lose a bit of weight, as I said in my video uh, from the um, uh, Mr. Pickwick's uh, January sale, Audax, you know, I've put a little bit of weight on over the last, certainly the last couple of months, so uh, I do have quite a stressful job, and I find that I, uh, I graze, so I'm always eating, so hence, you know. Um, oh, there's a deer, just got out there, there's a deer. Must have heard me talking. Anyway, I uh, have that effect on people. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that's at the end of May this year. That's uh, and I've entered the the um, the Audax, but I might do the Randonneur Populaire, which gives you an extra three days to do it in. So um, I might do that, which will give me an extra three days and you know kind of relax doing it and not chasing Audax points or anything like that. It's a bit of an adventure, really. Um, so. Uh, Although I have entered the full-on Audax, I probably will swap to the, uh, the longer version and uh, treat it as an adventure rather than, uh, you know, uh, a bit of a slog, if you like, for a better description. Uh, what else am I going to do this year? I'm not really sure. A couple of 600s and that kind of thing. I'm going to do a few more of those this year. Well, I did three rides last year that didn't count uh, because I didn't finish. So, um, and I, you know, I, I did did a 300, I did a 500. So, you know, it's none of them uh, counted for all those points, but I still did the rides, you know. Saying, I thought it was a guy coming along. Not a bit conscious, you know, sitting here talking to myself. Um, yeah, so I might uh, dream up a couple, a, a six hundred uh, to do, um, probably with a bit of a backstory to it. And, uh, yeah, the rest of it, I think I'm going to take it as it comes, really. Um, not doing LEL. No appetite for um, that kind of size of thing. Crowds and crowds of people in controls and stuff. That doesn't really appeal. You know, when you're tired, you just want to get your head down. And uh, if you've done any overnight, or that's just that half sleep accommodation and that kind of thing, you'll know it's a snore fest. And quite often, um, you know, you're just better off going out and sleep on the side of the road, really. I know I did one uh, 600 in uh, 2019. Control was it? Uh, I think it was Mortimer's Cross, 
the sort of borders of Wales. And uh, actually, it was one of Mark Rigby's events, and uh, we we uh, had a dormitory made up in. Uh, Not sure what uh, went on there, but uh, anyway, yeah, so uh, we had a dormitory uh, um, made up in, in this side room, and I just opened the door, and this cacophony of snoring came out, and I just closed the door again. And I went and had a, had my bivvy bag with me, so I just went and had a sleep on the side of the road near Hay on Wye. Uh, about half an hour of sleep there, and that, that sorted me out, to be honest, a bit of a power nap. Um, yeah, so I don't know really. Uh, the, the only thing in stone at the moment is Bristol, Glasgow, Bristol. I kind of uh, feel that I've got uh, unfinished business there, and uh, it, it isn't a physical thing. You know, I just didn't have the, my, the right head on for that event last time. Learned a lot from it, so here we go. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Uh, thank you for joining me. Um, you know, it's loosened my legs up from yesterday's ride, and uh, go back and have some dinner now. See you on the next one. Not sure what uh, went on there, but uh, anyway, yeah. So uh, we had a dormitory. Uh, um, made up in, in this side room and I just opened the door and this cacophony of snoring came out and I just closed the door again and I went and had a had my bivvy bag with me so I just went and had a sleep on the side of the road near Hay on Wye uh, about half an hour of sleep there and that, that sorted me out to be honest a bit of a power nap um, yeah so I don't know really uh, the, the only thing in stone at the moment is Bristol, Glasgow, Bristol. I kind of uh, feel that I've got uh, unfinished business there, and uh, it, it isn't a physical thing. You know, I just didn't have the, my, the right head on for that event last time. Learned a lot from it, so here we go. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Uh, thank you for joining me. Um, you know, it's loosened my legs up from yesterday's ride, and. Uh, go back and have some dinner now. See you on the next one. The bonus thing here. I, uh, many years ago, I uh, had a bit of an accident on the bike. I managed to break my arm in three places. The lady in these houses here, she phoned the ambulance for me. I don't know um, if any of you ever watch Adam Watkins' YouTube videos, but uh, Adam um, is festive 500 video where he got on the train at Birmingham New Street and had to get off at Gloucester to and road home. Well Adam if you if you do see this this is the reason. So that up there is a brand new bridge tunnel whatever you want to call it and that's the main line down to Bristol over the top of it. They closed it over the uh, Christmas period to install that that bridge. So uh, that's the reason why you had to ride from Gloucester back to Patchway. <laughs> Um, so you can see the canal's been drained here so that they can undertake that that, uh, that work. It's a shame because it looks a bit of a mess in, at the moment. Uh, hopefully they'll take those barriers out of the canal. But if you look the other side of this bridge, you can see where they've dammed it. They've got a pump there that's pumping it, keeping it there. Uh, certain level. Yes, so going back to the story about me breaking my arm. <laughs> um, I was actually riding, I'm actually gonna go back in the opposite direction. So this road down here takes you back up uh, towards Foster, which is, uh, and then 
I'm going to go back home that way uh, just for a change but uh, I hit a pothole and uh, my arms um, came off the bars you know sort of like that but I managed to get my hands on the, on the back on the drops but it was too late I was uh, veering off to the uh, side and I hit um, Gully for want of a better description. But, uh, tractors of death, dug a bit like that, a bit like that, but on a bigger scale. And uh, it, it sent me over the bars. And the first thing that uh, hit the road was my shoulder, the top of my arm. So. Yeah, so I'm basically going to break the arm in four. I did not talk for about a week. I've been off the bike for quite a while. Uh, yeah, so that was down here. So uh, every time I come along here, that's 20 odd years ago, man, mine. Private road and no through road, but uh, they just don't want through traffic. I don't think. And uh, the bank up here is is the is the line down to Bristol. Right, it's getting proper dark now. That said, even though we're about two weeks past the, uh, the solstice, maybe three. You could, you could tell a difference already. I believe it's about 18 minutes. Here is the, uh, the railway bridge. Where? Oh, no. 